let's see how we can insert a new column to a table. In the current document, we have a table. We select a column and from the layout tab of the ribbon, we select a button that says insert columns to the right. Now let's see how we can change the width of the columns of a table. We have a table in the document. Here it is. We click anywhere on the table. And from the layout tab of the ribbon, we click on properties. There we uncheck the preferred width and they automatically resize to fit content from the options. And from the layout tab of the ribbon, we change the width of the first column. We select the second, we change the width of the second column. We select the third column and again change the width of the third column. Let's say 1.5 inches. Now, let's see how we can uh, specify the height of a row of a table. In the current document, we have a table. We click on it from the layout tab of the ribbon. We change the height of the selected row. Let's see how we can insert a large empty table into a document. We have a document, an empty document here, we click on insert. From the table button there is an arrow, we click on the arrow and then insert table. We change the number of columns to the required ones and the number of rows to the required ones. We click on OK and we have our table. Now we will insert a table and uh, format uh, its rows with specific shading. In this empty document we click on insert and insert the four rows table. Select on the first row and the third row and from the shading button in the ribbon we choose this shading. Then you select the other two rows and you select a different shading from the ribbon. There it is. Of course, you can also delete a table row. Here is how. In the current document, we select the row we want to delete, the second one, and from the Layout tab, we hit uh, on the little arrow next to Delete and select Delete Rows. Now let's see how we can delete a table column. In the current document there is a table, we navigate to it, we select the, the column we want to delete, the third column in our case, and from the Layout tab, we click on the arrow next to the Delete button and select Delete Columns. Now we will see how we can sort table data and then insert a function, kind like we do in Excel. This is our table. We select all our data and from the Layout tab, we click on the Sort button. We select that uh, our table has had the rows and then sort by last name and then by name. We click on OK. On the lower right cell, we click on the Formula button to insert the formula. By default, the sum above is uh, pre-filled. We select this one and we have the sum of the column. 
Let's see now how we can merge cells of a table. In the current document, we select the two lower right cells and from the Layout tab, we click on the Merge Cells button. The two cells have been merged. And now it's time to see how we can split a table cell. In the current document, we select the upper left cell and from the Layout tab, we click on the Split button, this one here. Select the number of columns and the number of rows, 2 and 2, and our cell has been split. One of the most useful features of Word is the ability to convert text to table. In the current document, we have this text here, and we select it, and from the Insert tab of the ribbon, click on the Table button, the option to convert text to table. Our text is separated by tabs, so we don't change anything, and we click on OK. The table has been created. Let's see how we can insert a row to a table. In the current document, we have a table. From the Layout tab, we click on the Insert Below button and a new row has been added below the table. Now we will insert the table and adjust its columns width while inserting it. In the current document, we click on the Insert tab of the ribbon and from the arrow next to the table to select Insert Table. There we choose the number of columns and number of rows and then set the initial column width to the one we want. Let's say 2 inches. Let's see now how we can split a table into two tables. In the current document we have a table. We select the line we want to split it to. We click on the Layout tab of the ribbon. And from there, this button here, which is the button to split the table. We have converted the text to table. Now let's see how you can convert table to text. In the current document we have a table, we select it, and from the Layout tab of the ribbon, we click on this button here, which is Convert to Text. We choose uh, its text to be separated with uh, this character and click on OK. If a table is too large, we may want uh, the first rows of the table to be repeated at each page as headers. In the current document, we go to page uh, 6, which will have a large table, and to select the first two rows that we want to repeat as headers for all the rest of the pages. We click on the Layout tab of the ribbon, and then the button Repeat Header Rows. We can see that these rows are repeated in the next page as well. Let's see how we can change the margins of each cell of a table. In the current document, we have a table. We click on it. And then from the Layout tab of the ribbon, we click on Properties. There, we click on the Options button where we can change the default cell margins. Let's set the top one to 0.1 inches, the bottom one to 0.1 inches as well, and click on OK. The cell margins have changed. Similarly, we can change the cell spacing of the cells of a table. In the current document, we have a table, we click on it, and then from the Layout tab of the ribbon, we click on Properties. 
there we hit the options button again and uh, then we click on this checkbox to allow us to change the cell spacing we change the cell spacing to 0.1 inches and click on ok we have seen that the change has been applied let's see how we can apply a three column layout with a line between the columns to a part of our document select this paragraph and from the layout tab of the ribbon we click on the columns button and select the more columns option there select the three columns option and check the line between the checkbox we click on ok and here is the required result now we will change uh, the layout of the document from a two column layout to a three column layout here you can see this part of the document has two columns. We click on the layout tab of the ribbon and from the columns button we select the three column button layout. The change has been applied. Word gives us a lot of options to change uh, both the width and spacing of uh, text columns. Let's see how. We select this uh, two column layout part and from the columns uh, button we click on more columns. There, we can change the width of the columns, let's say to 2 inches, and their spacing, let's say, we will change it to 0.6 inches. We only uncheck that checkbox if we don't want our columns to have uh, the same width. We click on OK and our changes have been applied. Let's see now how we can apply a four column layout in the part of our document. We select the part we want to have in four columns and then from the layout tab of the ribbon we click on the columns button, the more columns option and there we select the number of columns, four in our case. We click on OK and we are done. The discrimination that Mac users have been facing by Microsoft Office tutors is over. The brand new Test for You in application training system has arrived to let all Mac users use their installed software to learn how to use their Microsoft Office for Mac. With Test for You, you get innovative, interactive training, instant feedback by our advanced grading engine, assistant video solutions, but above all, you get the chance to harness the power of your Apple Mac PC and get the most out of your Microsoft Office for Mac. Available for Word, Excel and PowerPoint for basic and advanced levels. Compatible with Mac OS Catalina or newer and with Microsoft Office 2019 or newer. Fully compatible with Mac PCs powered by the M1 and M2 Apple Silicon 